Hello YouTube, King Marnold here, and for those of you who don't know, I do indeed make Minecraft videos. And in front of us today, we have a traffic light. It's just a standard traffic light that uses redstone and command blocks to make it function. And without the clone feature in the command blocks, this wouldn't be possible as uh, there's really no way to wire the, this small of a traffic light with redstone. And, um, yeah, it's ba it's just a basic traffic light. It goes green, yellow, red. You guys know how it works, so I'm not going to explain that in too much of detail. But um, if you haven't noticed, I actually uh, did do the walk and do not walk signals as well. So it is white the direction of the green light. So it's white this way and red this way. And when that turns red, this will also flip-flop. And that's white that way now. And, um, yeah. I'll show you the underneath here, but um, it's pretty simple redstone, but it's kind of messy and it's kind of hard to explain, so I'm just going to show you the basic explanation of it. I'm not going to really do a how-to necessarily, but basically here's the central clock that these uh, that the traffic light runs on. It will send a pulse through here about every 15 seconds. And this is into a T T flip flop um, piston array, and this will send out into two different outputs. And I inverted one of them so that they are always opposite of each other. And uh, I sent them in from um, what you could call a lever to a pulse converter. So um, that so the two outputs they go they alternate on every other uh, pulse from the clock so every other pulse from the clock this will go and then on the next one that will go and then on the third one after that that will go on so on and so forth and the two outputs uh, go out to the control centers for the traffic lights so each one of these little areas with the command blocks is controls uh, individual traffic lights so here's one there's a second one, there's a third, and there's a fourth. And there's four total. And I wired opposite ends together to make it simpler. And up on the top level, these are the green light command blocks up here. And then the mid level is the yellow light command blocks. And the bottom level is the red light command blocks. And I wired all of them together into an individual output. And I also wired the yellow and red lights together. So this line comes into here and it will trigger this is the yellow light line right there that just got triggered and then also the red light is above it and the red light goes about three seconds after the yellow light that's how we get the delay uh, function and on the bottom we have the green light function and what I did was I wired the greens the yellows and the reds together on opposite sides so that the one on the left there and the one on the right there is wired together and vice versa with the up and down and I basically for the most part wired them I wired one set of opposite traffic lights to this uh, pulse converter and I wired the other end to that pulse converter uh, for the most part and that's how the redstone actually works and uh, we'll just take one final look at the traffic light I actually did put a backup system for the traffic light in case the power goes out the sheep in the middle for you guys who are wondering that actually does serve a purpose when the power goes out the sheep's job is to direct the traffic just in case the power goes out so this traffic light is foolproof then in that regards so I just wanted to make sure that all bases were covered for this traffic light. But here it is up again one more time. But uh, yeah, that's the redstone traffic light. Thanks for watching.